The man that Springfield police say shot and killed another man on Bob Straub Parkway last night is claiming self-defense. KZI 9 News reporter Jessica Devis is live in the studio tonight with the identities of both of the men involved and the very latest in that investigation. Jessica? Matt, police are investigating whether 34-year-old Gerald Strabent was justified in his action last night when he reportedly shot a man who crashed into his truck. Officers are now asking witnesses to come forward to help them piece the case together. Police are trying to figure out what happened between Main and 57th Streets involving two Springfield drivers Thursday night. But it was fairly short in distance and it ended in a vehicle accident between the two cars. Officers say the driver of this blue car, 53-year-old David Crowfoot, hit this black truck. The crash fueled a fight outside the cars. Police say Gerald Strebens then fired a gun, killing Crowfoot. I, I wouldn't call it random at all. I would call it a... Uh, incident that was a dispute stemming from the accident and possibly do some driving stuff before the accident. Crowfoot died at the scene. Strebent, the alleged shooter, was never taken into custody. He says his actions were in self-defense. You have to believe that your life or the life of someone else, the third person, is in imminent danger. Strebent owns Northwest Training Center on Main Street in Springfield. He's a mixed martial arts fighter and former U.S. Marine. Police say only one gun was found at the scene, the one they believe Strebent fired that night. Now investigators are just trying to find out if he used it to illegally defend himself. If someone has a claim of self-defense, which means the, the actions they took that they feel are justified, you know, the investigation has to show that those actions weren't justified or, or they were. And sometimes we investigate things to clear people. And sometimes we investigate things that incriminate people. Police say Strebent called 911 after the accident, but before the shooting. Although police would not elaborate about that call, they are asking anyone who drove by the scene during the time of the shooting last night to call them. Live in the studio, Jessica Davis, KEZI 9 News.